Kings Man presents. Day six on the Oasis of the Seas, crossing to Port Everglades, Florida. Uh, right now we're in the North Atlantic, and uh, the North Atlantic is giving us everything that the North Atlantic usually gives sailors in the wintertime, uh, some pretty, pretty, pretty heavy conditions. Uh, we've had winds uh, almost up to hurricane force. Uh, we have seas that are in excess of 40 feet, and the ship is just amazing. All of us in the bridge are talking about how remarkable she is in terms of handling and taking these very heavy extreme conditions. What we've done is I've actually turned the ship into the seas. Uh, we're only making about six knots right now, and that's intentional, uh, to make sure that we keep conditions on board the ship uh, very stable. And the ship is extremely stable so that all the work can keep on going without being impacted by the weather in any way. So right now we're going to turn it over to our environmental officer, Peter Roy, who's going to give you a view of everything that's going on from an environmental perspective on board the Oasis of the Seas. Well, the Oasis is like a small city at sea. Wastewater comes from sinks, showers, toilets, hospital laundry, huge volumes every day. Everything gets treated. The room we're standing in now has some of this equipment. It's a multi-stage system, and as it progresses through, the purity increases. So when it comes out, it's very, very clean. Bilge water is basically uh, liquids that gather on the bottom of a hull. Typically, they contain a lot of oils and solvents. International rules and regulations say we need to get below 15 parts per million of oil content. We set our standards much, much higher. We want to be able to go to the most sensitive environmental areas of the world and not leave an impact. So the systems that we have are the best in the world. 